The Maastrian War of Sakchisian is fought on land and water. On a warm, early winter's day, the coalition fleet attacks the Maustrians under Admiral von Rattus in the Straits of Verdane. Stilwen has declared war, but too late for their frigates to join the Maustrian force. Von Rattus is heavily outnumbered, with six galleons to his two, and eleven frigates to his seven. Von Rattus forms his ships into a long line, planning to destroy the enemy as they approach. The coalition force forms in divisions with depth, hoping to break the Maustrian line and engage the ships individually and at close range. The Maustrian guns open fire, and the coalition turn to the north, rushing at the tail end of the Maustrian line to overlap and destroy the rearward section. Every Maustrian gun opens fire with the galleon says Neki delivering a devastating broadside at long range into the Prince Cliven. The Crimsonian galleon Ambert receives multiple raking shots and begins to sink. The southern divisions of the coalition force turn to engage with long range broadsides, while the northern division overlaps the frigate Zimmern and rake her from stern to stem. The Maustrian guns reply, with galleon de Rossi punishing the Mira. But Ozerland and Zimmern are taking the full brunt of the Coalition cannon, and the Coalition ships can drop out of the line when they take too much damage. There are other ships waiting to take their positions. The Coalition frigates at the end turn south again, catching the tail of the Maustrian line between two fires. Tremo and De Rossi turn out of the line to rake the impudent frigates, while Tomez sails between Zimmern and Ozerland, firing from both sides. The southern end of the Maustrian line cannot turn into the wind to close with the coalition, and so breaks away to the east. The coalition turn to pursue. What follows is a messy pursuit, with the coalition frigates outrunning the Maustrian galleons in the south, and exchanging a deadly fire at close range. Zerd Nieki turns towards the fight with her escorts, but is overwhelmed by coalition numbers as the Altun crosses in her front and rakes her from stem to stern. The Seneki sinking under his paws, Admiral von Rattus signals the fleet to break and run, himself leaping aboard the passing frigate Ranhofer after setting the magazine to explode. The Crimsonians have lost a frigate and a galleon, Manathites a frigate. The Maustrian southern fleet is devastated. Galleons Seneki and De Rossi sunk, and three frigates damaged beyond repair. The long sea is Royal Tilsip's lake, 